the national championship last year, and Trey Young is sixth in points and third in assists. And the Hawks have it. They've also got some big time play recently from Jabari Parker in his sixth year out of Duke. That's Trey Young, guarded by Malcolm Brogdon. And he starts with a three. Well, nearly tied up. Sure was. And now Jones challenging and scores underneath Turner. He missed it. Brogdon has the mismatch against Parker. Down low to Jones, guarding Sabonis. You're right, even now, Hunter. But they don't do this. They, they don't really shoot that well from the perimeter. He, he's the one guy Trey Young. No does. He was an assistant to Brett Brown at Philadelphia. We'll see Brown tomorrow night. And that's Warren with his first two coming in. I'll tell you what the thing with T.J. Warren is going to do. Everybody's got the patience to have to play better than him. T.J. Warren, on the ball, has been much better than I ever thought he could have. He's really worked at his defense on the ball. Now the Brock and the Atlanta native. But he's more of an effort player. Now he, he may very well guard Malcolm Brock. Remember, he's an effort player. Steal by Brock. No chance to play young. And he put it in. Malcolm Brock has six. Bruno Fernando is another rookie. He's out of Maryland. Second round draft pick. And the basket is good. And that's DeAndre Hunter. They're looking, they're, they're looking at that matchup. What we talked about. When Young has got to guard Lane. Let's raise up. Don't waste a lot of time. He's too little. 15-11 lead. Jeremy Lamb's been in double figures in every game he's played for the Pacers, but they're getting inside now. When he gets to the paint, he knows what to do with it. He can score, or as he did there, he can throw a good ball fake there. Ball right now for the Hawks. He has not played much this year. Well, he did the same thing that you see some bonus does. He put his shoulder. Sir started in Philadelphia, played last year in Portland. And that's tipped in, and Len and the Hawks have the lead. You gotta tighten it up, because this is what I was talking about, sustaining concentration. This is a hard game to play. And you guys have to just continue yeah. to pay attention. On the floor is Sabonis, back cut, left hand, it spins in for McDermott. McDermott. Big and strong, you see Domas back off of a Len. Now Holiday in front of the Pacers bench, hits Indiana's first three. Sort of. Very shy, and people look at him as though he's like me, that can just talk, talk, talk. With Justin here, I know he has somebody on the road. This Pacers team, because they have so many ways they can get you. But it's been all Atlanta here early. They lob it up, and Jones throws it down. 14 to one run for the Hawks. Young threw it away. Well, Pacers need a basket here, and a dunk. They get it for T.J. Warren. Up here. Yeah, see, they, they double team there. Now they're, they're really forcing other people to have to make shots to get the ball out of their hands. Now you got to rebound. Jones. What Malcolm Brogdon does so well. Now he's got the mismatch against Sabonis. Who's guarding it quite well, as a matter of fact. That's a tough shot. Trey Young. I mean, Trey Young is just capable. That, that's a tough shot. But he got it back after Warren knocked it. Here's Young. Lobs it up and Led puts it in. Young can hold you. He can make the shot as well. See how this, see they've got the patience. With Miles, he fortunately makes the shot. So that's out of character often. Any kind of rhythm, Chris. No. Not at all. Nice job. Nice job by, by McCon. Flat the deep. They, the reason they do that is because they're trying to get them to the position they are now. Now you jam to try to get a, a bucket. And Turner. Oh, what a shot. One shy of a franchise record. That's a turnover. Bad pass. By the rookie Hunter. Pacers come back the other way. Great pass there by Warren, is it? And they've cut it to a seven point game. They've trailed by as many as 18. They're on a 15 to 4 run. Lamb and put it in. Because of that, they're going to be nice. You don't get shots. And you don't get as many shots for some period of time. But you cannot allow that to affect, said JJ. You know, they're taking the shots the defense gives them. Lamb. Another jumper from the mid-range, 53, Atlanta. This guy scores it so easily. Blocked by Turner, there's number 600. And Lamb at the rip. Down to the post, Sabonis. Pacers look to tie. He's still little. 18-point deficit, have tied it at 57. And Young with two more. Loose, picked up, 
And Benbury lays it in, and quickly a four-point advantage for Atlanta. Body to have to guard some bonus. A bigger body being a stronger body. That'll put him in a real bind now. Base. No, a lot of a lot of big bodies there. And Turner blocks it again is third. Aaron and Justin's parents who played their college basketball at Arizona State. Another block. Couldn't get back to get to that one, but he protected the rim for sure because he's normally pretty good at keeping the offense moving. Mismatches are the thing that the Pacers want to take advantage of. And Turner follows his own miss, and the Pacers are tight. And now Aaron Holiday. He's going to go inside and put up a tough shot that rolls in. Yeah, the kind of happenstance. Holiday to give the Pacers the lead. How about Justin keeping that alive? Warren hits, and Indiana has the lead. Holiday's energy. Holiday looks. Very good pass by Miles. Passing down the floor. Got it. Oh. Got his own rebound. Turner for three. Yeah, good for him. They're trying to get Alec Crabb up there. Yeah. Holiday goes right around Turner. Has it blocked. That was the right idea. They read it. Drive him. And he got that one. Finally got a break to get one to go in because he was able to get into that body. Now, usually with your backup players, you're not as concerned about them in that foul form. Wow. He cleared space there. Trey Young. They have a chance to regain the lead with Young. And Benbury gives Atlanta the lead. Time week in Fort Wayne with the Mad Ants. David Mullen telling us before the game is Doug McDermott hits the three to give the Pacers the lead. The three, he's just made eight this year. Brogdon has come back in. McDermott again. He made it! Their first 18 from three-point range. Benbury, the basket and a foul. Indiana, Young has been a handful. And creates another shot in a 30-point night for Trey Young. He wasn't sure what he wanted to lob it or shoot it. He's had nine 30-point games. That's Malcolm Brogdon. Pacers to that seven-point lead. Young again. Empty from three. And now Young, a chance to give the Hawks the lead. Len is back in against Sabonis. And Sabonis got it to fall. Fortunately, he had Lamb out there. Tell him it's like breathing. And Lamb Tell scores. This is like what you got to do. I, I'd be a... And Young, two more. He has 39. Try to take care of business here against this Hawks team. Trying to snap an eight-game losing streak. And Lamb and the Pacers back in front. 18 for Jeremy Lamb. Point line. Yeah, trust me. They're going to set a screen. I'm, I'm looking at doubling him. He's going to go to the basket and tie it. Trey Young has 41. Three starts the overtime for the Hawks. Lamb fades, scores. Lamb against the rookie Hunter. Now the double comes. I swing it. Turner for three. He knew it. Turner on Young. Lost him, and he hit a three. Oh. I'm telling you, he, can, he averaged nine assists. Has 15, tied at 99. Very solid play. Warren for three. Very solid play. Very young. No foul. Young weaves his way to the basket, has 46. Yeah, but did Malcolm get it? We're looking for that 80% guy. That's fine. That, that, that's fine. Carter. Young. <laughs> the guy is unbelievable. He just gave up 46. Well, in fact, I believe. That's 49. 49. I mean, yeah.